Spy X Family, episode 21. We've been living sort of a leisurely life recently. Very domestic. Why does this already feel different? Oh, it's her! Fiona Frost! Right, we saw her last episode. She works with Lloyd. Interesting. Oh, that's why she wasn't invited to the amusement park episode. Oh, okay. Sure, it's about the mission. But I want to marry Lloyd. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Yor, watch out. It's too late for the getting ideas part. She has all the ideas. All the ideas about Lloyd. Sexy Lloyd. I don't think it's Lloyd's glory she's trying to swipe or grab. <laughs> I like this character already. Oh, really? You don't say. Mission 21, Nightfall. Here comes a new challenger for Lloyd's heart. But can she cook? Hmm. Watch out, Yor. <laughs> you can be replaced. She seems like the kind of person that will cook really well by the book. Like following the recipe exactly, meticulously, so that there's not an ounce of individuality, but it's exactly what was intended. Can you feel it, Yor? Oh no, Yor, you gotta get it together. You don't know what's coming. All jokes aside, she has to get this together for her own peace of mind. It just weighs so heavily on her. You gotta sort that out. Hi. We know she can cook really well if she... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We know she can cook really well if she equates it to killing. So, yeah, you better do that. I'm your replacement. I know that. I know. I know. Is this a hit? Maybe there's a microphone in the magnifying glass. That wasn't just a transfer of items. That was sleight of hand. I mean, they haven't really developed any kind of romantic or sexual interaction between Yor and Lloyd yet, so I don't think she'd be pressed about that. Two beautiful people admiring each other. <laughs> Just talk about how bad she is at cooking, she might break down and leave herself. You can tell how genuine yours love is for Anya, aside from the mission, quote-unquote. It's legit. It's not a burden to your... Yeah, Yor enjoys the parent role more than Lloyd, naturally. Yeah, Yor just opened up a window into her fatal weaknesses. He just gave this woman ammunition. Whoops! Also, Borf is back. The home just became a lot brighter. Why does he look so boy band beautiful? Come on, Lloyd. Lloyd's instincts are usually better than that. Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. That's the light I know. Oh wow, that's impressive. It's crucial to Boar's health and happiness. That's all you need to know. <laughs> this is hilarious. How do they keep track? I'm having trouble just reading. Love is complicated, Anya. You'll get there one day. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we got there sooner than expected. <laughs> Not so frosty now. And that's how Anya got two mommies. Damn! I was on your side, but... <laughs> hmm... Clearly, yeah. Clearly this is not about the mission at all. This is really intriguing. I, I love this. This is sort of forcing the issue. They made the argument that they don't want to disrupt 
the current stability because they already have your they don't want to risk anything with the divorce but that's kind of a flimsy premise legit it probably would be more practical and would be better for this person to play the mother role thinking solely about the mission especially because she's making fat stacks over here for some some reason somehow it's possible lloyd just disagrees with what i just said and thinks that your actually is best for the mission but if not he's gonna have to come up with something that actually is a question i had last episode which is how long is it going to take him to shift over into the more family role as a priority as opposed to just the mission as a priority, which is obviously going to happen gradually over the course of the show. This is kind of a big test, a big defining moment for Lloyd and his family. Please don't butcher the coffee at a moment like this. Don't butcher the coffee. You're going to just drive yourself crazy. Can you feel it? Please don't mess up boiling water. <laughs> Please don't, like, I don't know, burn the kettle or whatever. No pressure. Do you even feel any sort of type of way about him? It's more about, like, just what she wants to be for her herself. I don't know. I'm gonna say something very controversial. I like you a lot. Frosty makes a really good case. She makes a really solid case. And she likes him. I don't know. I definitely, I think, watching the show focus more on the human stuff and I constantly underplay the importance of the mission. That's sort of where I'm at thinking about this. But then again, she also is a solid case for the mission. So she wants it more, right? I'm convinced of yours love for Anya and wanting to be Anya's mother. I'm not as convinced about the relationship she has with Lloyd yet. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> He might be doing it just for yours benefit. And he's not even addicted to caffeine? Who is this man? He's not a human. Oh no, don't come for Anya. No, no, no. Okay, she's crossed the line for me there. If she had come for Borf, it would have just been done. I would have been so done. Alright, here's a good good case against her. You just disqualified yourself. Now she's just starting to seem desperate and clingy. Anya is a powerful enemy. <laughs> oh no. I'm skeptical. <laughs> See, her love for Anya would be a tool. It would be a tactic. Yours is genuine. That's a good point. We also have to keep family stability for Borf's benefit. What would Borf think? Everyone's on the same page, even without speaking the code. Maybe improve your cooking a little bit. Just a, a little bit. Oh no, the darkness. The darkness. Oh, he's her superior and trained her. This relationship goes deeper than I thought. I'm not really sure who to believe here. Oh, I see. She sees that some of it is genuine. Oh boy, things are about to get real intimate. Nothing is more important than my love for you. Good luck with that. あなたの妻にふさわしいのはこの私以外いないと。I mean, if this wasn't the show, where Yor was the feminine lead, female lead, I would say she has a shot. Her fatal mistake was going against Anya. My impression is that Lloyd does genuinely have positive regard for Yor. He clearly likes her as a person. They get along really well. He recognizes that she's a really, actually really fantastic mother. It's like her, her greatest natural gift in this whole arrangement. It's not cooking. And, you know, for all the tension between his care about the family versus his care for the mission, he's a human being with a heart. He cares about Anya, at least on some level. I mean, that's, I don't think, disputable. He's a good guy and he wants the best for Anya. So it seems natural that he would take some genuine pleasure from observing their relationship. It's, it's sort of a beautiful thing. It feels very healthy and feels good for Anya and good for Yor too. That being said, like I was saying earlier, I feel like the direct bond between him and Yor in a sort of sexual or romantic context has not really been cemented in any real way. They had that super awkward kiss. That was about it. Also dating Frosty would mean you don't need to put up with Yuri. <laughs> that's 
Oof, plus a thousand points right there. I think for Frost, a lot of it is just going to come down to the circumstance, which is just generally true in life, how long the mission goes on. Because the longer they're together, the more their bonds are going to form. If Operation Strix gets completed in the next month, I feel like Lloyd's out. You know, he's done. Because he hasn't done what he definitely will do in the series, which is actually get attached to them and come to love them and put them first. It's not going to fall in her favor. She just isn't that character. This isn't that show. It's not what's been set up. But just thinking about it, you know, sort of a fanfic kind of way or just real world kind of way, as much as that's possible for a show like Spy X Family, she's also going to get her shot at proximity. I feel like a lot of times in relationships, there are the obvious things like compatibility, attraction, etc. But there are kind of the, the less talked about variables, which are just circumstance and proximity. Being together for a long time when you're in the right mind state is like everything, almost everything. Very interesting, very spicy. All right, so I totally missed this when I first watched this episode. Mission 21, first fit of jealousy. I'm watching this after finishing all of season one. A little bit of a time skip here. I've been seeing all these Instagram reels and TikToks recently of like dogs watching TV. I wish I had a dog like Bond. This is the penguin that Lloyd got her at the aquarium, right? What an iconic episode, the effects of which we will feel forever. Bond is lurking in the doorway. Oh, he's jealous of the penguin. He's gonna chew that thing up. <laughs> yeah. I think I said something about that, about him chewing up her, uh, the doll that she got with Becky. It has come to pass in the past. Oh no, I kind of wish I had just totally missed this completely. I should never have come back to this. I don't want this conflict between Anya and Bond. This one should have been left on the cutting room floor. No! You are... you made a huge mistake. She doesn't really mean that. I'm skeptical. Oh, please, your... don't... don't... oh, god. How did I know? Yeah, this is this is relevant to subsequent episodes because she's like super concerned about her ability as a mother. I would have made fun of her double if I'd seen this. I bet Fiona can sue. So. Yeah, she wants this one. This is the penguin episode, penguin. But Lloyd's great at sewing too. Sorry. You're taking notes. Poor Borf. He's just following his dog instincts. I mean, it's not like she can write, anyway. We've established that. He's got character. Oh, he brought peanuts. He's a good boy. Is this foreshadowing? Why do I feel like all the little bits and pieces of the show that seem innocuous are going to come back full circle to form something crazy? Okay, all is well again in my heart. Thank God. Couldn't stand it. <laughs> they actually drew the butthole. <laughs> that also was some, like, great fatherhood from Lloyd. That was just a side skit, but I do feel like it's relevant to the coming episodes. Yours panic about her abilities in front of Fiona. It's also a little bit of the softer touch I was looking for in these episodes. It was there, I just missed it. While I have the opportunity to talk more about Spy X Family, post-season one. The more I think about the show, the more I think about there's all these little things that, have, that are being put in place that just seem like part of the episode, but it might be building towards something bigger. So while not a lot of plot action for the mission or the war happens in season one, it's a very dynamic situation. And the more I think about it, the more I think the clues are there and that there are certain predictions that could be made. Despite the lighthearted nature of a lot of the season, I trust that there's a lot there. I trust where it's going. And so I'm thinking that, first of all, the fact that Yor is putting all her moral agency, so to speak, in her agent is going to become a big deal. I made this prediction before, but I think it's pretty safe to say at some point she's going to be hired to kill Twilight, which is going to force some very difficult choices for the characters. But then thinking about some of the side characters as well, I think that Lloyd is going to get compromised. I think his agency, at least, will run into difficulty. And I think that's foreshadowed partly by the that weird skit of Handler talking about how people get careless. Then add to the fact this growing thing that could just all be a joke, this whole situation with Frankie and his girlfriends, but also in the context of a spy show is a glaring weakness for him. Like he totally convinced himself that there was a girl waiting for him on that bridge. There was no girl on that bridge. So what happens when an actual girl who's an agent for the other side shows him any kind of affection? The man is hungry. He's hungry for love. In a nutshell, I'm, I'm getting more and more convinced that these side characters are going to play a role. And that also brings me to Becky. It's possible that Becky's father becomes an asset. If Donovan Desmond doesn't work out, that angle doesn't go anywhere. We know Becky's father is from an important family. And we also have the interesting introduction of, uh, what's her name? The maid. Becky's surrogate mother, 
Martha, I think, could be a key player in that dynamic. Fiona, I think, is definitely coming back. I don't think the competition between her and yours is done. In fact, very likely that your and Fiona come at odds when the conflict starts brewing. This all could be nothing. I could be totally way out of my skis here. But just thinking about season one as a whole, after I watched it, digesting it a little bit, it's kind of a, a perfect storm brewing, which is interesting.